Ford Roadster. Now these are 85 horsepower. Top speed in New when they were new was 76 miles an hour. That's pretty impressive for back in. Yeah, really wow. good. We are quite a sporty horsepower. little car. We've got a Model T here. Now that's one of 15 million that were built. Um, interesting fact, uh, the Model T, 15 million production, one of Henry Ford's um, business associates was of course Harvey Firestone. So if we take 15 million Model Ts, Harvey Firestone would have sold 75 million tyres for the first time round. The first time round. <laughs> so no wonder they were great friends. Yeah. Okay. And no wonder Firestone was so successful. Now the maroon car here is a Cadillac. It's a V8, uh, 353. It's a cool Cadillac 353, followed by a Buick Straight 8 from 1938. And here we've got a little veteran GWK which is a fantastic little ma machine. Chain drive. Chain drive. Little single cylinder engine. From what, from what year? Um, yeah. 1914, I believe. Wow. How about that? So here's the transformable Packard again. You'll notice on the side it's got the water, oil and gas uh, supplies. But that car would have been uh, in completely in... So it was actually, yeah, okay. Big 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 but they called it Twin Six in the early days and then they changed to V12. What size was the engine? Uh, 170 horsepower. And, and uh, cubes? Do you have any idea of the size of it? I'm not quite sure. Not sure of that yeah. one. Very quiet, doesn't make enough noise that car. That's right. Yeah. For people here at the, at the Highlands Parade Ground, I mean, you're talking about some of these machines, a lot of the machines we see in front of us are in concourse condition. They are beautiful, Absolutely aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. Yes, they are. And um, if we were to parade these cars as they were found, you just would not believe um, you know, the work that's gone into these vehicles. It's just incredible. And, and we've also, here in New Zealand, um, some of the, uh, the workmanship and the ability of a lot of people here is, is, is world-renowned, yep. isn't it, for the, for the restoration work that goes on. We've got some amazing businesses in New Zealand and some incredible people doing the most, you know, world-renowned work, haven't Absolutely. we? Absolutely. And uh, it's hands-on. People it's do craftsmanship, isn't craftsmanship. it? Yeah, yeah, it is. And um, a lot of those, a lot of these vehicles have actually been restored in Wanaka itself. There's a great group of specialists here. Now, um, what's, just what's that? What is this yeah. lovely thing? That car. A Fiat. A Fiat. Mm -hmm. Really? From what year? Here's the transformable again. Now the case car, most people would say case made tractors, but in fact they made cars early in the veteran years. Yeah. The ghost looks remarkable, doesn't it? It does, yes. Uh, that's another car that's uh, exhibited by the Dippy family, imported, as is the Waterhouse Packard. The little V8 Roadster here would have been the absolute dream to own. It, and they are one of the most collectible Fords that you can find. The Model T, interesting, this is a late model Model T, if I can say that, 1927. Now the first Model T in 1908 took 12 hours to build. By 1914, they were producing a Model T every 93 minutes. So here's another Model T truck here, little um, runabout truck. For the Ford Roadsters, you could uh, remove the turtle deck on the back and put on a utility uh, deck if you wish to do so. The Cadillac here is a magnificent car. That's um, a Fleetwood body. That car was imported from Argentina. It's a, a original right-hand drive. And a beautiful Buick. Now, to imagine in 1938 taking possession of, of one of these new Buicks in the showroom in New Zealand, it would have been an incredible event. Very special. Because thing. you would have had to pay cash for it. <laughs> you know, uh, so that's, that's how it works. Now the Packard uh, transformable Landau, that was imported from Australia by the late Robert Duncan as a half-completed uh, vehicle and a beautiful job. And where was it, where was it finished? Where was it, it was uh, finished in Monaco. Sorry? It was completed in Monaco. Here yeah. in Monaco. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. 
the, the, the sports Lagonda, which has just passed us there, is a really good example of a 1930s uh, luxury sports car. And that one's been refitted with a four and a half litre engine. Originally it would be a three litre. So it would be a very formidable car on the, uh, on the circuit, I would imagine. And one of the uh, crowd favourites probably today is the V8. Um, it's a beautiful V8 uh, coupe here. Um, boy, I just love that style, don't you? Yeah. Hey? Fantastic, isn't it? And they're so quiet on the road. And this is a little uh, English Ford, a 10 horsepower Ford. So they produced those in Dagenham in England. And here we have a Buick. Does it um, ever cease to amaze you how much, how many vehicles, how much history, how, you know, the... It's been preserved. Yeah, the, the, absolutely. And it's here in New Zealand yeah. alone. I mean, this is obviously a very small um, uh, amount of beautiful vehicles in these, this era mm -hmm. that are living here in New Zealand now, but the, the amount of it that is here never ceases to amaze me what we keep unearthing and seeing and finding in, in all different parts of, of New Zealand. It, it, it's quite phenomenal, the culture and the, you know, the love of such a wide variety of vehicles here in New Zealand. Yeah, well, I think it's actually growing too, that interest, because uh, we have um, incredible technology now in, in motor vehicles, but people, this is where it all began. So you can look at some of these vehicles and you can actually see how they work. That's what we call a close coupled tourer. That means that the back of the body finishes ahead of the front axle. So they've got a big trunk on the back, which uh, I think makes them very attractive. But now um, you... you could go for a trip to um, Monica in one of those maybe, <laughs> from Dunedin. <laughs> if you took the Packard now. That's, although that's 1918, it's an incredibly roadworthy car. So you could travel with that car quite comfortably at 55, 60 mile an hour all day. Absolutely no, no problem at all. Um, the now we've, we've switched, oh. haven't we? So we're now flipping over to your department. We've got some more modern era machines making their way into the uh, the Highlands Parade Ground. I've had a little... Um, Couldn't be had, more conflicting, could it? No. I had a little um, little message too. So oh, Josie Spillard. There she, that would be her, I think, driving the Porsche tie car. Correct. She's got a young are chap we, Are Fergus. we doing well, Josie? <laughs> young chap Fergus with her. Yes, Paul in the GT2 and Ian Begg in the G2. 